Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000, the best damn anime reviewers on YouTube, and today is a great day to be a Hunter Hunter anime fan because the climactic battle between Gone Freaks and the creepy Chimera Ant Cat Girl Neferpito is about to pop off. And I'm really excited, and I know you guys are too. And due to popular demand, I'm going to give you guys my full reaction to this week's episode. So please, kick back, relax, and watch me go into full fanboy mode. Just a few things to remember. The actual anime episode and the clips from it will not be in this video. Read the title of the video. If you're looking at this and expecting to see the anime episode, you're not going to get it, so don't leave a stupid douchey comment about it. Please try to keep things positive below so we can enjoy this week. Also guys, before I begin, I am going to do a full countdown so you can follow along with me. I will be watching from the very beginning of the episode, the opening, all the way through to the ending. So guys, let's go ahead and begin and watch this awesome episode. In 3, 2, 1. Oh yes, the excitement begins my friends. The build up to this ridiculous episode, I cannot wait to see it. They're already going back through some of the stuff that we saw last week with Pito and Gone walking through the hallway. Neferpito was just told by uh, Poof that uh, they actually have Komogi, and this is all a plan to make Pito and Gone fight, which that's really what this whole episode's all about. And, uh, you know, I don't read the manga series, so all of this is going to be completely fresh to me. I don't know where this is going. I just, I'm really hoping something crazy happens. That's all I know. So, clearly... Pito is not going to heal Kite, because he's a freaking Frankenstein monster, and I kind of figured he wasn't going to come back, because, you know, once you get decapitated, you know, it's kind of a one-done deal. But Neferpito starts healing herself, and this is just going to cause Gon to flip his shit. Alright guys, come on, let's get to the intro. Why we gotta see all this stuff we saw last week? Maybe it's just build up if you missed last week's episode, because to some people... Uh, last week's episode wasn't really all that good. Some people thought it was just a setup. I loved it personally. I thought it was the perfect setup episode. Um, that's why I'm just expecting so much from this one. It's gonna be crazy. So, here we are. Gone is still reacting to Kite falling over. Look at all mummified and creepy. Ugh, the buildup on this one's gonna be astronomical in the beginning, isn't it? Oh, yes. They're gonna show all this. Oh, come on, guys. I, I, I cried last week. No, I didn't. You didn't hear that shit. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. You didn't cry. Uh, let's get back to the video. Uh, yeah, so Pito's healing herself again with her weird Dr. Blythe abilities, which is just... You can tell she's kind of trying to get ready into kill mode, which is really creepy. And... Intro? Intro. The intro with the, the freeze of feet on the beach. That's yeah, actually the Chimera Ant Queen, but still. This has definitely been one of the craziest arcs of this series. Um, I'm not sure if I want to say it's the best, because it's just, it's, I really liked the, uh, the York New City arc that involved everything with Phantom Troop. I just loved being introduced to that group. Um, I've actually been re-watching the entire series with a couple of friends for the last, like, couple of months. And uh, we just got into the Chimera Ant arc again about two weeks ago. And it was really funny getting to see my friends react to uh, Kite getting his head torn off by Neferpito. Like, they thought he was going to be, like, such a standby character. And I thought he was, too. Uh, he seemed like he was going to stick around for a long time. And, uh, you know, I just figured he'd be really important because his voice actor, too, you know. He, he has the same voice there as uh, the voice actor as Red-Haired Shanks from One Piece. And uh, even Char Osnable from Mobile Suit Gundam, which is just so awesome. You know, maybe there's a connection there between the red, but Kite certainly sort of broke that mold. But here we go. Intro is over. Kamara Ant King hanging out. Gone. Kilowa. Creepy eyes. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Anger and light. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. You can cut the tension with a knife right now. Oh, poof, you little asshole. He thinks he's got everybody just, like, wrapped around his little creepy-ass finger. In his hilarious chibi form. A lot of the times in these series, they like to sell the little figurines of, like, smaller chibi versions of characters. Poofs actually exists within the show. That's pretty weird. 
Oh, hell yes. Killua, fuck his shit up. Uh! Thank God. I love Killua so much. He's definitely my favorite character of the show. Palm has come a long way, too. She has gotten one hell of a power-up. I want to see more from Killua, too. Speed of lightning. Let's see. Uh, Killua versus Enel from One Piece. I'm going to give it to Enel. That guy's a fucking god. <laughs> okay, back to Pito and Gon. Eh? All right, we're back in the castle. The setting for this battle looks really cool, too. Just th This whole, like, tone right now is so creepy. What's Gon going to go Super Saiyan? Is he going to awaken the Nine Tails? Is he going to find out that his father's related to, like, his father's an ancient demon from another world? What? What? What's, gonna, what, what's Gon going to do, man? Is he going to rock, paper, scissors, shit? What's going to happen? Ah! Something needs to happen. I'm going crazy here. You can already tell, though, the artwork looks really nice. Gon is still crying. Pito looks like she is healed. Okay. There goes Dr. Blythe. And there is Pito, looking good as new. Creepy. <laughs> Gotta test it, you know. <laughs> At least Pito's giving him a warning. Pito's showing some small amount of restraint and respect for Gon. Now we got the intense music. Oh my god. What's Gon gonna do, man? fade to black and there's just red energy emanating from the middle it's building up its anger okay this is getting crazy now okay gone is like he has like some sort of inner demon or something going on in him he's got this like evil aura just coming out of his body now what is going on the candles are melting faster. Pito looks a little freaked. Alright, this is crazy. They're gonna have to explain what the hell's going on, because... Gon just became, like, possessed by the devil or something. I won't let you get away with this! Freaking Super Saiyan time, man! What's going on? That's a good question, Pito! What is going on? This is downright disturbing. The music... Okay. Oh my god, what's happening? There's just all this, like, black energy, and it's just erupting from gone. What's going on? Whoa! What the fuck, man? Dude, gone is huge. And he's getting bigger. And the art style kicks so much ass! Oh my god! Alright, his hair is longer, he's big as shit now. Is he, like, doing the same thing that Bisuke does? On, like, an entirely... Alright, this is fucking awesome looking. 
I love the hand-drawn style so much. He doesn't even really know what he's doing. He's as strong as the king! He's stronger than Netero! Oh my god, this is awesome. I get that part in the intro now. When he starts to freak out. Oh, this is what he turns into. Oh my god, nothing has even happened yet. <laughs> Pito's using crane style. Summoning a creepy ass puppet. Whoa. She's like getting ready to attack. Oh my god, Pito is so fucked. Where's gone? She just immediately attacked him and he's and he's nowhere to be seen. Wait a minute. Is Gon actually gonna get to fight the king? No. You can see him clearly. He's just he's he's just jacked up. He's on roids, man. It is, it's like Beast Gay's power, like when she makes herself all big and buff and look like an adult. This is like Gon's version of it, but it's like all evil. But now he's got a gold aura, so he is a Super Saiyan! Oh my god. Wow, this is strange. He doesn't want to destroy the building. He still has some semblance of, like, humanity, though, somehow. I thought he was just going to be like a monster. Adult gone. Still with his same voices. It's strange, but still crazy. Hey, gone! The 80s called. They want their shorts back. <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy. Okay, so... We're back to the castle. Kite is still the mayor of Strugglesville. As expected. All right, so Gon and Pizza are now outside. Come on, guys, let's do this. Second half of the episode. That first half was all build up, but that transformation sequence was pretty damn awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, his hair is just like defying all sorts of gravity. It's the exact antithesis of my hair, if you will. It's like, do you ever see those old like Slim Jim commercials with the dude with the Slim Jim head? That's gone right now. If, I mean, if Dragon Ball taught us one thing, it's like more hair equals more power, so, you know. Okay. How far do they need to go? Is Gon... I mean, he's he's just as strong as the king, which means he's stronger than Netero. Pito should not have a, like, stand a chance. Oh my god, this is crazy. Pito's getting kind of worried. Or maybe she's pumping herself up for this. Oh! Pito's attacking. Again. Just dodging it. Oh boy, this is creepy. Oh! One kick. Wow! Sent that pussy flying. Oh god, he's doing rock, paper, scissors in this form. What the hell is it gonna be like now? Wow. This is boss's shit right now. Okay, whoa. That hair is crazy. <laughs> 
sure he's all like gathering energy. As Pito is still falling out of the sky. He's gonna hit her as she's coming down. Or he's gonna hit her as she's coming down. This is gonna be crazy. Rock. Paper. Rock. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that punch was so epic. There's no way. How is Pito even alive? Pito's relieved. Okay. He sacrificed his life energy? He's risking all of his strength and life, and he might not even be able to use Nen again. Oh my god. This is so crazy, man. Wow. Pito got all sorts of fucked up. Pito has blue blood. That's, I mean, I guess a lot of the Chimera ants do, but still, that's just strange. I'm focusing on the color of the blood while Gon's looking like a badass walker. What, what am I saying? Oh my god. Oh my god! Pito got fucked up! <laughs> oh my god! Is Killua gonna try to stop Gon? Oh my god. He came in. Kilua comes in right as he's using that move, isn't he? Okay. We're about to see something really disturbing, aren't we? Wow! His hair is lit. Oh my god. Dude, Pito didn't even stand a fucking chance. like this victory for Gon though. Something about it's really disturbing to me. Is Gon gonna be able to Yeah, exactly. He's just like Bisque. Okay. She got big, but the aura. Yeah, that's yeah, that was her original form. Kind of like a reverse Tsunade. Dude, what's gonna happen to Gon, man? Okay, Pito's still alive? How is this freaking possible? She doesn't even have, like, a... a... face! This is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best episodes of the series. Maybe the best. 
No, 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 please don't let this fucking happen. Holy fuck! I thought Kilowa was gonna take the blow. But Gon just lost a freaking arm. Again! But they're not on Greed Island anymore. God, the art here, the black and white with red. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Whew. Even without a head, she's she's still fighting. That's true though, Con oh no, I mean I guess you're supposed to cross the head, but oh my god. He's happy. Oh man, what the hell? This is an emotionally draining episode. Oh, he finished off Pito. What the hell? He grabbed his arm. seen he grabbed his his freaking ripped off arm and shoved it through pito's body slamming her into the ground oh my ah this episode kicks ah damn it this episode no he's still using the ability with his arm missing what's gonna happen Dude, what the hell, man? Oh my god! <laughs> Landscape gone! That episode kicked ass! Oh my god, you guys. You guys, that episode was so well done. That might be my favorite episode of the series. Just that combined, that is, it's like in a tie for that episode where Gon was fighting against Hisoka in the uh, the tournament arc. Just, God, that was handled so well. And God, it was brutal. You know, Hunter Hunter has a, it can be brutal at times, but geez. And they got so awesome. Like, after all the barrages of punches and his arm getting ripped off and him grabbing it and using it like as a weapon, just, Oh my god. And Pito. Oh my. Mm. Just, uh, this is. Uh, this is anime porn, guys. Check out this episode. So. There it is. That's, that's all I gotta say right now. So. <coughs> that's my reaction. Uh, you guys saw it here. Uh, just make sure before you leave today to hit the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. Please tell me about your favorite moments from this week's episode. How did you react to this one? If you did a reaction yourself, send me a link to it. I'd love to see it as well. And make sure to watch along with me. Follow that timer. And I'm looking at the preview for next week's episode. And even though this is all done and everything, it's like, there's still the Chimera Ant King and he's blowing shit up too. So there it is. Awesome episode.
episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. All those links will be in the description box below. And check out our most recent video from Momocon 2014. It was an awesome anime convention. There will be a link for that video at the very end. So check it out. I will see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.